Because of all the options available to PC users when it comes to installing 32-bit and 64-bit instruments, a couple of people have asked for a tutorial on installing the Imposca 2. The IMP2 PC installer is smart in that it searches your PC for the very first VST plugins folder it sees and sets the default install locations to that folder. Now normally this is fine from the off and no changes will be necessary. However, because people might run multiple hosts, or as in my case, have separate 32-bit and 64-bit instrument locations, the defaults may need changing. If this applies to you, hopefully this video will make things clear. So, after you've launched the installer, the first thing to do is click Next and accept the terms of the license agreement. Here's the page where we select the formats, and in my opinion it's best to make sure everything is ticked here. The standalone, the VST, the FXPs, i.e. the patches, and the documentation. You can also select 32-bit, 64-bit, or both, and in this case I'm opting for both. Right, this is the page where we select our destination folders, and I definitely want to create a desktop icon, and I also want to create a quick launch item, so I'm ticking both of these. Now, here is the bit where you want to pay attention. Because my system has Cakewalk installed, the installer sees the VST plugins folder associated with Cakewalk first, and sets this as the default. And you can see here this is both the same for 32-bit and 64-bit files. However, this is not where I want the IMP2 installed to. The location I want the 32-bit IMP2 installed to is in Program Files x86 VST Plugins folder. And the location I want the 64-bit version installed to is Program Files VST Plugins folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the 32-bit file location by clicking here and then here and then browsing to exactly that location. So, Program Files x86 and VST Plugins. Press OK and we can see the destination listed in the window here. Then press Select to confirm that destination. At this point, the installer asks you if you want to install the 64-bit version to this same folder. But because we have a separate VST plugins folder that we want to install the 64-bit IMP to, we press No. Okay, now on to the 64-bit IMP to location. We know this isn't where we want it installed, so click on In Folder, and then Here. This time we want it installed to Program Files VST Plugins. So let's close the Program Files x86 folder and just open the Program Files folder. And scroll down to VST Plugins and highlight that. Press OK. And again, press Select to confirm that as the path. So now you can see the location of the 32-bit IMP2 is Program Files x86 VST Plugins. And you can also see that the 64-bit IMP2 location is simply Program Files VST Plugins. Leave everything else as the default locations and just hit Install. Now your locations may be different to mine depending on your own setup and in the main, like I said at the beginning, if you only have one host installed, the installer will default to the correct one and you won't have to do any of these changes. But if you do, just use the same method here to navigate and select your own specific VST plugins destinations. 